I've learned that I am enough. I'm a good guy. And anybody who's with me is lucky. I've told Maura I, I love her. It is playing on my mind a little bit. Will she ever get there? I genuinely don't know if I am ever gonna be in love with Luke. It scares me that he's not putting his life wants and needs before mine. So a part of me thinks, should I do it for him? Should I step away? I have wrote my vows and I am worried how Luke is going to take them. There are a lot of thoughts running through my mind. Have I made the right decision? I've come to my decision. I think everybody thinks that I'm going to go one way. An actual fact, I don't think it's as simple for me. I do not want to give up. But have we genuinely got a shot? at making this work long term. I wish today's decision was easier. I'm nervous about what Morag's going to say. Uh, this is hard. I'm just going to do it, OK? Morag, wifey. While we've been apart, I've done a lot of soul searching. And I've had to dig deep into my thoughts and my emotions and ask myself some hard questions. When I look back over the experiment, I remember the highs. I think about you falling asleep in my arms, about the values you share, and how our marriage has been full of laughter. I think about the morning when waking up and seeing your blonde hair shine off the pillow as the sun beams through the window and not believe in my luck. But I also can't forget some of the lows. I questioned if I was enough for you. You told me I wasn't your type. You kept me at arm's length physically and emotionally. And that was really hard for me to deal with. A lot of the time in this relationship, I've been ahead of you. But I opened up and I said I loved you even though I knew you weren't there yet. <sighs> Morag, this decision has been one of the hardest I've ever had to make only because I want to make sure I'm happy, but you're happy too. I've been hurt in my past, and I just don't want that again. So often it felt like I was putting your happiness before my own. The fact is, Morag, I realise that's what love is. My heart belongs to you. Meeting you has changed me forever. I've decided to listen to the little voice in the back of my head, which is telling me to protect you, support your hopes and dreams, and continue to be your husband. I may not have been the man you wanted when we met as strangers on our wedding day, but you need to know I am the man you deserve. Morag, you're an amazing person. The man standing here today will always be your best friend and your biggest support. And I will always bring you tea in bed. <laughs> let's make memories and let's go travel the world together. That was really lovely. Yeah. And very gentle. We've been on an amazing journey, and it's, this isn't the end, it's the beginning, right? <sighs> Shit. Yours is brutal, isn't it? Fuck. Fuck. Get shit in my pants.
shit. Luke. I came into this experiment because I was scared that, if I didn't, I would spend the rest of my life alone. I wanted to give myself the chance to be able to love and be loved. When we first met at the end of the aisle, we instantly burst into laughter. I thought then we'd be all right. However, it was clear to me from the start that you weren't the sort of guy I'd usually go for. I began to wonder why we'd been matched together. During our honeymoon, I began to realise just how polar opposite we were. I was loud, you were quiet. I was bold, you were timid. I was comfortable in my own skin and you were self-conscious. At that time, I wanted to run. I didn't think you were the man for me. I signed up for this one in a ready-made man, not a project. My biggest regret is that I wish I could have been able to give it my all. My inability to let you in has been the hardest battle for us. For that, I only blame myself and I want to apologise. I am also worried that you are still not being your genuine self. Do you say yes to me just to please me? Have you changed your mind about wanting children for you or for me? I am worried you are not putting your own needs and desires first. I am concerned that if I commit to you again now, we would only find ourselves heartbroken months down the line. Luke. That's not what I want. I want you in my life. I want you in my past, present and future. The one thing we don't do is give up. Our lows have made us stronger and if we can survive this, we can survive anything. I want to give this my all and if you do too, then let's start by celebrating with a glass of wine, not that I need one anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You have to go in then. <laughs> You've made me happy, so I genuinely want to thank you. I feel the exact same way. I am so grateful I got you as my husband. It's amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Me and Morag are absolute proof the experiment can work. We're on the same page. We are. 100%. 100%, I promise. I came into this thinking I was going to spend the rest of my days alone. Oh. <laughs> I'm leaving this experiment with a husband. The future holds a lot of adventures. I think so. Let's go into our future.